Hi, this is Alon Geva and I'd love to go over some words that would leave you beyond the words themselves that you can really recognize who you are take this opportunity to wake up to your true nature and abide in yourself as your true self which is ever free so let's begin There is a transmission that is happening that if your mind is sensitive enough, you can sense it. You can tap into right on this vibration. If your mind would let you, your mind, your mind might play all kind of tricks, would not like it, react to it, judge it, judge me. So it can capture all its attention, that all your attention will go to it instead to yourself I'm pointing it out so you can see the workings of your mind because your mind is not you your mind is an instrument that appears inside you The questioner asked the master, what is the role of the mind in your teaching? The master says, mind is opaque, opaque. You cannot see, see clearly through it. Being a particular personality restricts the vision. It is like looking through a wormhole in a door. Clear sight is obtained by abiding behind the mind. So right now, be still, just for an instant. See if there is a thought, and sense what's here behind you, just for a moment. With your eyes open, Don't activate the thought. Look if there is a thought right now. Stay with the attention on that which is here, aware. That's wonderful. If you sense anything, which is yourself, then you walk up to who you truly are. And there is prior awakening and there is after awakening. Once you awaken to your true being, then your attention has to be shifted more and more to your true self. If you haven't realized that which is beyond the mind stay with that ponder about what has been said listen to the videos that I share read listen to anybody that inspires you as long as this pointing you back to who you truly are so you can really wake up and be free not free of doing whatever you want and you feel like as a person free as nameless and formless awareness which is eternal that's where freedom lies as eternity in eternity there is no freedom in anything that is passing through because you're free for a moment and you're bound the next moment because it's constantly changing find what is always free what's it always here what is always joyful peaceful changeless and abide as that eternally
if you find this video helpful and you know anyone that you can share with please share it with others and you're welcome to give any reaction you can give thumbs up thumbs down anything if you have any questions please pose any question if I can video or comment about that I will be more than happy and we'll see you next time I wish you great success and all the very best infinite love flowing to you.